Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. He hello, everybody. Yeah, this is Barry. I'm going to share our observation on using MTHP on Android devices, especially mobile mobile phone. Actually, in the last year, we deployed uh, uh, large folios on millions of Android devices on Opus mobile phone, even for Linux kernel version without folio like uh, 4.19, uh, 5.10, and etc. So actually, we have tried we have tried a lot of approaches like uh, uh, like uh, dedicated page blocks and uh, like uh, lately we are trying. TAO zone, this virtual zone provided by Yu. So I, I share my opinions on these two different options. So basically, what we have observed is actually the after the system has been operated for a couple of hours, we are unlikely to get large folio. For example, this is the data we just uh, collected uh, from Pixel 6, using the ABI, I, I just upstreamed in, in the latest MM, MM stable. Like uh, in the first hour, actually, like the fabric, fabric ratio using the default body, yes, kind of okay. You get a 50% yeah, success rate. But after a couple of hours, actually, the fallback ratio can increase to be over 90%. And uh, even worse, the swap out of the fallback ratio can raise 100%. So that's probably because the swap de device is totally, has been totally fragmented. So in, in our real product, we have to work around the problem by providing a separate uh, ZRAM for large folio. Yeah, like we have two ZRAM, the first, the first one for a uh, small folio and then the uh, lot of one for large folio. I think it, it's not my focus. I think uh, Chris Sassin has already covered this part. So I focus on uh, large folio allocation. So, so th this is actually the data we collect uh, after we leverage, after we leverage the virtual zone, we, we set 15% uh, the total memory to uh, be a low match zone, and we set the order of the low match zone at four because we are using the count PTE of ARM hardware. So after we set 15% memory as low match zone, we are saying, we are actually saying the fallback ratio is quite stable. Like uh, this. This line, the, the blue line is the default body, and the, the yellow line is uh is the, is after we uh use the virtual zone. Actually, we can see this similar result by using dedicated page blocks. That's actually what we have deployed in our products. The up uh, at the boot stage of Linux kernel, we just reserved some page blocks. And the marked name with the extended migration type, we, we name it as THP. So the extended migration type got a separate free list. So actually using dedicated page block, we can get the same curve, just like uh, the virtual zone. So, so we have two options here, either dedicated page block or dedicated virtual zone. But uh, in our product, because we we are we have been researching on this area for a long time, so the if we use dedicated page block, actually that's what we are using right now in our phones. We have we have noticed significant regressions immediately. Noticed significant significant regressions in like application launch speed and the UI. I mean user experience. Sometimes user can get can get stuck in the user interface. Yeah, so that's because the reason, yeah, is like uh, if we have just one, like for example, right now we have 
kilobytes, kilobytes large folio, and we have a lot of four kilobytes small folio, and we have only one single LRU, so they are putting together in just one LRU. So sometimes, for example, the LRU, the, the state of the LRU is unpredictable. So for, for example, sometimes it can be like the first one, and sometimes it can be like the second one. If, if the LRU is like the first one, like the tail of the LRU is populated with small folio, but you want to allocate large folio, you wake up case of D, where you get it, you, you get it into direct reclaim. But the tail of the RRU is full of small folio. So it turns out that you you can reclaim you 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 reclaim a lot of small folio, but you can't get one large folio. Yeah, the same thing can happen if you allocate a small folio, but the the the, the ARU list is full of large folio. Because the state is is totally unpredictable. You can't control it. So we have actually we have worked around this problem by providing a separate LRU. So we, we modified the list color a lot just to work around the problem. We add a new LRU separately for large folio and we keep the previous uh, we we keep the original LRU only for small folio. Then we have two LRU. Then after you wake up like case of D or you go into direct reclaim to get large folio, we scan the the, the second RU RU for large folio and otherwise we scan the first RU. So so then in this case, large folio and the uh small folio won't won't block each other. Then we get a lot of problem because we are scanning RU separately so like we have to like balance the age of two kinds of folio. For example, sometimes like a, like the younger folio, the younger folio in the second IRU, IRU might have might have been reclaimed, but the older folio in the first IRU is still in memory. So we work around this problem by providing a separate hello. Uh, Third, they scan like uh, they scan both ARU to try to balance the aging level of two ARU. For example, if we find uh, the pressure, like the large folio ARU, the pressure is high. So sometimes we just give up, give up the allocation of large folio. We try to like uh, scan more, uh, scan more in the ARU for small folio. We try to balance the Aging, we try to balance the aging level of two LRUs to like reduce the rate or something like that. So that's what we have done in our product. So after that, we find uh, our like uh, the user experience has been improved and uh, and the application launch speed is quite stable and improved. So basically, we we did a lot of workarounds in. In Linux kernel to like uh, providing dedicated page block for uh to to have guaranteed THP coverage. Like uh, we we should to make sure uh the allocation success ratio is stable because nobody is going to reboot their phone in just one hour, and we have to like make sure large folio and uh, small folio don't block each other during reclamation. And we have to like balance the age and make sure they are like the small folio and large folio are basically reclaimed in the same pace. So that's that, that's what we have figured we have to have in our system to support MTHP. But it turns out like uh, providing a separate uh, virtual zone, like the the user solution can can provide a world of the above, like uh, with a separate zone, the, the separate zone has a separate LRU if we use MGLRU. But if we are using like uh, the traditional active and inactive LRU list, we still have a problem. 
But it, actually, MGRIU is using, uh, has like a, each zone has a separate RIU list. And on the other hand, MGRIU can guarantee to balance, guarantee the aging level of different zone are autom automatically balanced. So that's why that's why I think for this moment, like uh, like we had mentioned, actually dedicated page block and dedicated virtual zone, uh, both of them a lot idea. But uh, but basically, I think actually for this moment, if if we can figure out a better solution, like uh, a virtual zone is even better than than what I have in our product. So because it's it's quite painful for for me to like uh, maintain a lot of hikes in this color to have like separate ARU and the separate color stress to balance the aging level of two ARUs. So the last page is about the is about, about the overall architecture of of the large folio solution in Opus mobile phone. Like we have a dedicated uh, we have large folio pool using dedicated page blocks and we have dual uh, we have dual dual RIU yeah separately for small folio and large folio we have dual JRAM separately for small folio and large folio this is also quite important because because swap device can be like totally fragmented you are unlikely to get uh, you are unlikely to get MTHP to be swap out as a whole so and uh, the other important thing i want to mention is actually uh sometimes for example if if we have dedicated page, bo page blocks or dedicated virtual zone for thp sometimes in some scenarios the system the workload doesn't need thp too much for example like graphics like multimedia, like AI engine, like it's it's quite popular to use AI in mobile phone nowadays. They actually they don't need THP too much. They just they need unmovable, unmovable large folio. For example, they 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 need a lot of DMA buffer to hold uh, like graphics, to hold uh, like AI big model. So they need very very large dma buffer so in this case we 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 yeah let's like let's probably the type c actually in in you uh you use us use us presentation he has defined uh, like a memory as four type like uh unmovable unmovable compound actually actually a c type c is unmovable compound actually dma buffer is unmovable compound so we allow, we just allow DMA buffer to borrow the large folio pool. It's fine, it's, it's fine. Because DMA buffer borrow a large folio from like a virtual zone or dedicated page block, and uh, they, they still retain as a large folio. They, do, they don't create fragmentations, so it's fine. So basically with all of the above, like the hacks or workaround, or well, yeah, we 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 provide a product which can which which we we can only benefit from THP. I mean, actually, I'm THP. Yeah, that's what I want to present. So, any questions or? So I have a question about the balancing of aging because I thought that uh, whether you are aging the smaller or ones or larger ones should be driven by how there is demand for each one of those. So what you are supposed to be balancing is the sizing between the, those parts, right? Not Not the aging. Uh, actually, we work around the issue by compare, comparing uh, how much we have swept out and how much we are still in 
in memory. For example, we 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 divide the ZRAMs like we have two ZRAMs. So we divide the ZRAM size with the size uh, with the memory which is still in memory. So if we find uh, like the uh, uh, light folio, we we have like the ZRAM one. The ZRAM one is light folio, and ZRAM uh, ZRAM zero is small folio. And we find uh, the light folio is seriously swapped out. Yeah, the the swap the swap pressure is totally high. So then we. But sometimes we gave up uh, the allocation of large folio. We we try to yeah we try to uh, reclaim more small folio to keep the uh, the agent in the same pace. Yeah. So 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 basically, we don't want like for example, uh, for example, like uh, the the the, the the bad situation could be like we have five gigabytes in ZRAM one, and we have only like one gigabytes not not folio in memory. So that means the ZRAM one has totally high pressure, and we are likely to get a lot of reports for large folio. Yeah. So in this case, yeah, the the like the separate. Hello, Svelte. We are we try to scan the small folio ARU to reclaim some small folio. Uh, question: uh, When you said you when you clean a lot of small folio, you cannot get large folio. Does the compaction not working at all, or? What's the issue for from there? Uh, yeah, the, the compassion does work. It is like uh, key, the the separate case that is kind of like a case of D or uh, uh, a independent case of D. Even before, even before we use large folio, we we have already had the uh, the color threads. This is uh, it's kind of like a proactive reclamation before case of D to Im improve the uh, user experience. But uh, after we have large folio, we actually modified the separate uh, the color threads to balance uh, to balance the aging of large folio and small folio. So before that, the the color stress has been already there. So, like we detect uh, the available memory in the system, and we find the uh, the available memory is limited, then this thread can be working can be wake up even before case of D. So before using large folio, this thread is trying to. Totally like recla reclaim small folio, but after we have small large folio, yeah, we this separate uh, color threads we are compare the agent of yeah these two ARU and try to decide which ARU can be proactively reclaimed. So it turns out we uh yeah we never with the proactive reclamation approach to kind of balance. The agent level of these two are used. So, so uh, uh, my take on this question is that um, five, twelve, four K pages uh, do not e uh, equate to one two meg uh, THP because um, I mean, in terms of reclaim, because there are no guarantee after you have reclaimed five, twelve, four K pages, you're going to get a one two meg THP. So the fundamental problem, in my opinion, is that uh, reclaim and compaction do not share a single frame of reference. So uh, I would ask this question. So when would you go with reclaim and when would you go with compaction? I don't think anyone can give a perfect answer. At least I cannot give a perfect answer here. Why? Because uh, um, we, in, for some cases, we could uh, 
uh, compaction can be more uh, effective. Uh, for that other cases, uh, reclaim might be uh, preferable. At least uh, Android, a uh, lot of times, reclaiming a large folio and then reuse the physical space uh, is much better than compaction because compaction is global, right? So, because to to get a new um, large folio, we just need to reclaim the uh, the one right here, the code one right here, right? But to do compaction, we have to try this page block and then try next page block, and they're not guaranteed. So you could scan the entire physical memory. Uh, no, but um, did not find any suitable page blocks for, um, to, uh, to, did not you know, end up with uh, a single um, THP, right? Right, right, so it's uh, like the file, like, uh, like the example I, I, did, I gave, like uh, we have uh, five gigabytes memory in j one and uh, one gigabyte is just an example, it's not uh, something really happening, actually, in our real product, uh, when the when the memory in JRAM is more than like the, yes. yeah two and a half times of memory in yeah in uh, folios in memory, actually like uh, the OM killer or something has been involved. It's just uh, an example. Yeah, maybe not a good example. I, I just want to say we can't we don't allow this happen. Yeah, so before that, before this can happen, actually, this, this separate cluster has, has been involved for something like OM oh, um, Kaler in user space has already involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, so it sounds have... to me like because our re uh, reclaim and uh, compaction is not collaborating. So it's like what we, you reclaim is, does not tell anything about compaction. So if you the, the page you, you reclaim may just punch some hole in the physical space, but compassion may not know where the space is. You scan from begin to the end. So if you can pass the message to the com uh, compassion, probably it's more efficient there. Uh, actually, so uh, we, we do have uh, uh, reclaim capture in the uh, compaction path. Right, but also we are also talking about uh, uh, reclaim uh, uh, reclaim that are not induced by compaction. Right, I think the uh, uh, the reclaim uh, the capture is only capture single page, not not like uh, say say you are re reclaim five twelve uh, base page, then you want to compact for THP. There is no say you can uh, capture all five twelve and do certain more educated compaction, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, reclaiming a large folio is a one-time event. So uh, let's say uh, Android, use an Android example, right? So reclaim because Android uses the RAM, and reclaiming a large folio is basically compress a large folio, right? And uh, to uh, get a large folio by compaction, we would actually have to do more work. Because not only we have to uh, move, uh, create a, the same amount of space, we would have to do it by reclaiming multiple pages or migrating multiple pages. Yeah, well, on Among the other hand, we are quite uh, sensitive to power, power consumption in mobile in mobile case, so we don't uh, we don't quite depend on compaction, and uh, if we like uh, we allocate that folio and we we go into direct director compaction, maybe the the latency is can't can't be can't be acceptable yes. by users. Yeah. Power consumption, latency, and, and or in general return on investment. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with the system. idea. It's more like a real-time system. Yeah. So basically, large folio is, is a quite important resource uh, to the system. So if we don't break it, if we don't spl split it, we keep it there. And the next time, we don't need compaction to get it. Yeah, so like, uh, like uh, yeah, for example, 
in in US proposal in the reclaim. Sometimes we just uh, migrate the remain part of, of large folio to small folio and the keep the large folio there to make sure we can get it next time. It's actually probably a, a cheap way than compaction and migration. Uh, yeah, quick, quick question about um, the DMA buff example that you're talking about. Oh, okay. So, yeah, since it's not LRU memory, DMA buffs aren't LRU memory, does that mean that you over reclaim large folios if you borrow a bunch of borrow a bunch of memory for DMA buffs? I mean, it seems like it'd be kind of like shrinking the size of the uh, large folio. Space yeah, we for actually, actually we find that uh, when we, uh, yeah, it depends on the workload. Yeah, we find that the workload using a DMA buffer a lot actually doesn't require MTHP a lot. So before, like uh, if we uh, change it to the, this kind of workload, uh, we find uh, it happens to, it happens to, yeah, you, we have a lot of remain the space in the large folio pool. Okay. For example, if we set a large folio pool to two gigabytes and we open workload like AI or graphics, we find uh, sometimes we can find uh, like 500 megabytes or 600 megabytes in there. So we just borrow lane. Okay. Yeah. Let's make it big enough. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, thank you. It seems that there are no other questions here in the room and there are none online. Then thank you, Barry. Thank you.